That's right, folks. Late Night Denver, episode number five. We're in the money. We're in the money. Brought to you by the Oriental Theater. And the folks at Mega Book Manufacturing. And Three Kings Tavern. Now let's have a round of applause for your host, Mr. John. Late Night Denver. Denver, episode number five. Yes. Super excited. Yes. Going to have a lot of fun tonight. Heather, how are you? Hi, John. Thank you. So, let's get started. In the news, Late Night Denver has been picked up by a internet entertainment channel out of Los Angeles. Nice. The Lip... TV2. We're very excited about that. All right, the lip too. Yeah, Heather, all right. Going to be great. Uh, we made a commitment to them that we were going to be both more funny and less funny with every episode. Well, you have the second part down, that's for sure. Okay. Is it about the check? So let's move on. Other news updates, uh, CBN did a report on uh, people that had come out of the closet, they're gay now, um, and they're being harassed by uh, straight friends of theirs, not good, not cool, but then they decide to go back in the closet, so now they're straight now, and now they're being harassed by the gay and lesbian community, also not cool, but it's also like... What, we're going in, out, what? So did you ever consider a revolving door? Uh, not me, them. Or perhaps saloon doors? Okay, that's good. Uh, in Florida, a lady calls 911 distress call because her husband is irate. She's freaking out. The cops show up. Uh, the husband actually assaults one of the police officers. He ends up in the hospital. Now... The police officer is trying to sue the lady for not explaining that her husband is irate. Doesn't he watch like cops or Hot Pursuit or any... I don't get it. Anyways, that's not it. They have on the show, they've got two lawyers. One of them's like, that's ridiculous. He should know. This is a 911 distress call. The other lawyer is like, well, what if the fire department shows up and... They have a pet bear in their backyard, and the bear attacks them. Who has a fucking pet bear in their backyard, for God's sake? So let's say I'm swimming in the ocean, and I get sexually assaulted by a dolphin? You might have a case, Heather. I don't know. Okay, in the news, that's that. We have a very good show tonight. We're very excited. Let's have a big hand for Sarah Fisher. All right, Sarah Fisher. Also tonight... Little Theodore, I want to make an apology. During the show, I think there's a couple times where I actually say Theodore instead of Theodore. I apologize. Also, Mr. Bob Furbrush, very excited, old friend of mine, which also a couple times I think I said Bob Furbrush instead of Furbrush. I'm sorry, Bob. Uh, oh, yes. Also, I said Westminster. It's actually Westminster. I'm sorry. 
Well, let's get started. All right, Late Night Denver. Here at Parmesan, we will serve no wine before it's... It always seems to attack at the worst time. Diarrhea. Well, we met on ChristianMingle.com. I was so excited. It was our first date. and I'm, I'm so embarrassed to admit this, but it just... It just struck. You'd think with the breakthroughs in today's modern medicine, there would be some sort of a remedy. But as we all know, once it starts... Diarrhea. Diarrhea. This has been a paid-for message and does not reflect the views of Late Night Denver. Thank you. Yeah, fuck, Jason. This is never gonna fly with the lip. This... Ah, oh, fuck. Well, they've worked so hard on it. Yeah. It's... Fucking washing machines work hard, Jason. I am so stressed out. I've got like two weeks to get all this stuff done. I've got this budget here. Do you have any idea what it's like to run a business like this? Just look at a few things here. 73 Corvette, $12,000. 82-inch plasma TV, $1,500 fucking dollars. Well, we can, we, we can uh, cut some of the... <laughs> yeah, we can cut, all right. I'm sorry, Jason, but... Oh, oh God. Okay, wait a minute here. <laughs> you might have an idea. Let me go sit down. I'll be right back. All right, that's a take. Good job, guys. Oh, wow. Look great. Wow. Look, wow, we did it. Perfect. Oh. Oh. I promised you guys that Ooh. I was gonna pay you something. Yeah. Here's five dollars for you. Uh, five dollars for you. Thank you guys so much. I I've, I've got to actually take I off. Buy the but stuff if, if you guys could just clean up and stuff, Dude. and we'll get back together. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you later. Are you Dude, serious? Get this stuff cleaned Are you up. Serious? Come here, I knew I shouldn't have done this shit. I ain't cleaning up. Five bucks. Jeez. Fucking dick. Heather, this is my personal IOU. Sorry about the check. This is as good as cash. Oh, most definitely. In fact, this is so valuable. I think I'm going to frame it with the bounce check. Thank, thanks, John. I appreciate it. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Late night, Denver. <laughs> We're super excited about our next guest. Let's have a big hand for Sarah Fisher. I'm not going out there until I got some cash. You gotta go. You gotta Look, go. I've seen all, the, all this IOU stuff. Uh, I'm not doing it. I big hand for Sarah Fisher. Hi, how's everybody doing? Happy to be here. Thank you for coming on. Oh, sorry, it's like a maze back there. Oh, it is kind of a maze. I think we lost Akmar back there for like a week. It got a little weird. Uh, we found him cowering in the corner eating his own shoe, if I'm correct. Yeah, but that happens almost every day. So. Yeah, he lost like 20 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Looks great. Let's start out with offering a little something to show our appreciation oh, that's to very sweet, John. Sarah. These are made by one of our sponsors, Mega Buttons Manufacturer, Late Night Denver. Mm. We want to give you that. We were oh, supposed to have nice. buttons from the lip too. Uh, last minute, I find out I'm supposed to pay for the buttons. Yeah. I had no idea. Huh? That's the biz, right? Well, congratulations on the lip too. Thank you. I'll go ahead and uh, share stuff awesome. right there. Thank you so much. Sarah, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems that you've been in the local music scene since maybe mid-80s, around there. Oh, I was just a small child in the mid-80s, John. Oops. <laughs> My first band was in 91, I'd say. Okay, I stand corrected. 
I'm sure there's somebody I can blame backstage for that. <laughs> Not you? I, mean, I apologize. Well, I have been for something. Yes. Almost definitely Crazy Miss Daisy was that band that you're talking crazy about. Crazy Miss Daisy. Oh, my goodness. My all girl heavy band. metal band. I Big hand for Crazy Miss Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> Now, I, I just, in my mind, was trying to count how many bands that you've been in, um, and all of them, I've loved every single one of them, but I'm thinking maybe, what, how many? Yeah, we're in the 20s range, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got definitely. around a little bit this town. Well, that's a good thing, in a good way. Spreading the love, we, we all appreciate yes. it, too, you know? Far and wide, far and wide. So what are you working on now? The Manx um, is my current band, all Manx all the time. Yeah. We're a three-piece. I absolutely love it. Sing and play guitar. I've got all a right. fantastic keyboard player, my dear friend Ryan, and my dear boyfriend Ryan on the drums. So it's mm. me and Ryan. Surrounded. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a lot in the works right now. We're working on a new record, which is going to come out, I imagine, uh, early next year. Cool. Uh, we'll probably put out a little seven inch as a teaser before that on our label Snappy Little Numbers. So things are going really well. Big hand for the Manx. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you also were in a band with the lovely Miss Heather Dalton. The we had the down. honor to play with you guys Yay. once. Yeah. yeah Do you guys have any crazy like rock and roll stories? Throwing TVs out the window, yeah. male prostitutes, female <laughs> prostitutes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was, was quite an incredible time, and uh, not a lot we can talk about on broadcast television, but yeah, we, we've got some stories to tell, just maybe after the tape. We'll save that. Yeah. My yeah. mother's yeah. watching, so yeah. <laughs> we're going to take it easy on this. Yeah. Yeah. But we had great times, yeah. Um, it was so much fun to hit the road with three of my best friends in the world and go play shows and just have an awesome time. Those were those were amazing days. Those were definitely, and we all made it back in one piece, so that's that's the important <laughs> That part. is important, yes. So the Manx, do you have any upcoming shows? Anything going on? We do. We're going to play uh, with our dear friends, the Neighbors from Seattle. That's going to be uh, October 1st at the Bar Bar. Cool. So it should be a nice fun show. Um, besides that, we're really just working on the new recordings. Can't awesome. Wait to hear it. Can't Very wait. cool. Awesome. Very Snappy, nice. little, Snappy little numbers. Right. Check it out. Okay. Uh, okay, um, we need to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to be with live via satellite with Teresa Mercado. She has little Theodore. That's going to be great. So please stick around. Late night, Denver. get started so uh, next up is live via satellite with Teresa Mercado so John is such a fucking cheapskate I heard uh, I some money but guess who bought the beer for tonight guess who buys the beer every night she obviously me. can't hear it's me. always me mm -hmm. I don't get paid anything I'm buying beer John's so fucking cheap I'm so sorry. if I find out he came into money Teresa. and I don't get anything it's bullshit Teresa John 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 you look so good I know I can't see you, but I know you look good. Uh, thank I'm here you. with my new favorite Denver band, Little Theodore and Babushka. All right. And Tricky Dick on drums. He looks like Animal from the Muppets. Cool. And Amadeus, Amadeus, tongue fingers. Back here. These guys are awesome. They're my new favorite band. They're going to play a song for us. I hope Sweet. you're ready. You can't be hard on. You made me both. You give me honey. Go and go. You make me lost, you make me fear that I do a bust. You make me want you, you make me cry, because I both know I'm qualified. Ha! You give me hard on, you make me ride, you make me think of finger pie. You make my fun run, you make me ow, you make my fun turn from fading foul. You make me stumble, you make me die. You win me up, man! You want me to die! You give me hard on! You make me sweat! I want to see you! Floating in wet! You get me floating! You 
with me for? You get me started, that makes me fall! But there's no reason to my fight! Because the dirty, yeah, your body fight! Well, thank you guys. That was awesome. This is exactly why you're my new favorite band, because you're the best fucking band in Denver. And I know I, we've been trying to get you on the show since, like, the first episode. Like, you are Denver. And I've been trying to tell John, but sometimes we disagree. We have different musical tastes, but I, I don't think he can deny that. Um, you know what? That's, I, that's all bullshit. None of that is true. I didn't even know your band. Um, the, truth, the truth is that I... I'm ashamed to even say this because no one knows this about me, including John, that my, um, my parents gave me up for adoption as a baby. And um, I grew up in an orphanage alone and just, you know, really had a rough childhood. And I've spent almost my whole life trying to find my parents. And um, I don't know if you, when you look at me, you see anything that is familiar, but um, I've got something right here that you might want to look at. It's... Uh, it's a little birth certificate here with my name on it. And as you can see, I found my parents and, um, Mom? Oh. I wish my mom. Oh. I'm so happy to apply to you. This is like, we're, I, like, we're so, like, we're having you so much. Oh, it's funny. Dad! Dad! Oh, Dad, it's so good. It's finally a Charlie, Charlie, girl. I can't darling. wait. We have so, I, oh. I want to go get ice cream, but I never learned oh. to tie my shoes. And, we have so much like things to do and make up for lost want. time, and anything I don't even know want. how to tie a scarf. I don't oh, know how to do anything because I had no easy, parents. Easy. So. I'll fix you okay. right up. Oh, let's go. We're just wasting time. Come on. This is, is going to be great.
Big hand for Teresa Mercado and little Theodore. Super excited about our next guest, dear old friend of mine. Let's have a big round of applause for Mr. Bob Furbride. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. For a good old friend of mine, Bob Furbish. Been responsible for thousands of bands recording, producing. What have you been up to, Bob? Give us a list of bands. Uh, I can barely remember what I did last week, let alone over the last 20 years. Understood, especially at your age. Uh, if I have to, I'll give a shout out to A. Tom Collins. Made a fantastic record with him this year. All right. Have a big hand, Ray Tom Collins. So you're a busy man. Just got back from a long tour with the Auto Club. Yeah, you know what that's like. Yeah, did it a few times myself. Yeah. I must say. Yeah. yeah, we miss you with your little toolbox out there, fixing the engines and spraying out the carburetors and balancing them tires. Yeah, you know what, Bob. It'd be pretty obvious to me. I know you're all the way out in fucking Westminster. You don't get out much. But I've got my own show now. I don't fucking turn bolts anymore, Bob. You did kind of insult him, Bob. I think I deserve an apology. Apology? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, Johnny. Oh, thanks, Bob. Here's to you, brother. Yeah. Bob Burbeck. Hey, Johnny. Yeah. Go get your fucking toolbox. <sighs> Fucking mutt. Ah! Oh my God! John, you fucking killed him! What the fuck? Well, I'm a fucking good shot. What do you want me to say? <sighs> oh my God. Yep. What the fuck have you done? Uh, it's just, I lost it, okay? It's like, come on, you guys. Fuck, I'm under a lot of stress with this show. Shh. He fucking insulted me. You heard him. It's like, what do you expect me to do? I can't take this. This is bullshit, John. I, 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 I'm done with this show. I, oh, I can't. come on, Heather. No. We've been doing this for how long? You killed Bob Furbrush. Well, you... what, do, what do you want me to say? There's going to be a few people Look. in town that might miss him. Oh, come on, you guys. Just, I'm under a lot of stress. Oh, the... Give me one more chance. Just give me one more chance. Help me clean up this mess. I swear to God, from now on, I'm straight and narrow. No more bullshit. You I promise. swear. I promise. Just help me clean this up. You're digging the hole. What, like I've never fucking dug a hole before? I can dig a fucking hole. Oh, okay. okay, let's chop him up. Well, I guess he's not going to be able to produce your next album. <laughs> <laughs>